Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video on OF4. Um, today I thought I'd do a video on the Pella. Pella ish. Um, at Savannah Dunnet River. Savannah Dunnet River. Um, actually, um, the spot I'm at is the 27140 spot. Um, which is in A3. Perhaps you spawn in. Um, camp. Run left. And as far, pretty much as far as you can go. Um, and you like a three stick, three sticking out, um, and green algae. Or, um, basically, it's using a float rod, um, and up I'm using just full line. I think you can use bigger line. I don't think it makes too much. Don't go, don't go too big, or you can use bigger line with small float. Small leader, um, 24 size hook, uh, and natural natural casters. Um, but the bite rate's been pretty pretty significant, to be fair. Um, I've caught however many's here. Um, just over two hours, but it's, it doesn't bite as well at night. It's quite quiet at night. Um, catch a few other fish, but as you can see, I've got quite a few. I still haven't managed to get a trophy. Um, and there's a few tags that come out, but the trophies have been caught here by various people on Discord, BK site. Um, yeah, and you do catch other other fish species, like I've caught bleak, rud, citrus quite common. So you could probably do a bigger hook to try and get citrus as well in this spot. Um, there has been white eye brings caught in this. Dace is another common one in this spot. You get the odd roof, but not many. Um, and he's bringing with uh, Beto, Bream and Ibis Beto, but... I do come out with the citrus mainly, um, and literally it's just cast it in about here, um, just just under or before the tree. I try not to go too much past the tree. It's 80 centimeters depth, um, and I usually float from like this round bit of the tip of my body is now across to the edge of the algae. Once it's out of the algae, I usually pick it back up and then throw it again. Um, but it's not very often it gets to the end without a bite usually get a bite or something unless you miss the strike of course um as you can see the fish nibbling now takes it or not like, yeah you took it if you miss the strike then fair enough um but yeah as you can see hello um yeah it's about 20 or 30 percent anywhere in this green stuff let it float across to the green stuff on the right like here where my rod line is now um to let it go from like here, here, and then that's it. If you don't get a bite, if you do get a bite, then that's fine. If you miss your strike, then just throw it in again and just let it float left to right. You can do this with two or even three rods if you prefer to. I prefer using just one because I tend to get mixed up with what line is which rod <laughs> when I have three floats all floating together. I tend to get confused on what ones. What, to be fair, which one's which? Um, again, there's another one, and literally, I've done this for like I said, a couple of hours during the day and all that. At night, you can switch over and go for donuts, roofies. Um, same setup, but bottom feeding. Um, so, if I was going to go in this exact same spot to get roofies and donuts, roof right, I would probably go with a bottom feed or pattern oster rig, uh, a small leader. You go 8.5s, but I'd probably go like a 5.4 leaders or something. 24 hooks with red one like that and then I'd probably do again probably like a nine an eight or nine clip here um, and that'll catch you the donuts roofy at night rather than try and get these because like I said at night time these uh, clapello go really quiet and there's not many bites at night of them so through the night time it might be better to go for the donuts roofy um, First one you've caught, I think. Um, it might be better to go for the donuts roofy at night and roofies at night and crayfish at night and then try and get um, these clapellos during the day. Um, like I say, you get clapellos, you get dace, and you get the itchels. 
uh, are quite common. And like I say, it's a 24 hook on casters. I mean, you can do dual baits and put in, if you've got a uh, sandwich baits, you could probably put in a maggot or a red worm in the second slot, but you'll catch more other fish. So you could try and get other fish in the process by putting in like a maggot or primarily I'd probably go with red worm. More likely to get you things like donuts, roughy, other types of fish. Um, I tried it briefly. Probably why I have a few other fish in my in my net. Um, but I probably would go with just casters. You can put on if we try. You can put uh, bark beetle love or just red worm. Might increase the bite rate. But I found wasn't very often I was getting casts where I didn't get um, a bite of some description and like I say majority of the time it is the capello capellos whatever you want to fish um, that we're looking for majority of the time it is these so it's not all bad um, getting the target fish that I come here to try and get um, and it is as you can see it is on the trophy card as well is always handy. I haven't got the trophy, like I say, the trophy. I will be continuing to buy for the trophy, but it is here on the trophy card. Um, and the date is on the trophy card, which you, we're getting both of these fish here. And the citrus here. So you might be able to get all three on the trophy card. There's the citrus. And these do get quite large here as well. So you might be able to get um, all three of the set, all three of the species here as trophies. I know you can get a Donuts Roof Trophy here, and I know you can get a Roofy Trophy here at night, because, again, I've seen multiple people get them here. Um, I've seen it on Discord, BK site. I've seen it quite a few places where people are getting... I mean, I mean, you could probably go 22 hooks, maybe even 20 hooks, um, and you may find you start getting... Because I found a lot of my Apellos non-tagged. So if you go bigger hooks, like 22s or 20s, you might get... Uh, more tags I haven't tried as yet. I'll update in the comment section if I do find a bigger hooks but I will test it. But primarily this is just a bite rate. I mean, people have got trophies. A lot of trophies have been coming out at this spot. Um, from people in that I've been seeing. Um, sadly I haven't managed to grab... What is that? Uh, a roughy. I haven't managed to grab... Um, the clapello yet um, but obviously the roofie must have been um, attracted to red worm putting the red worm on so you will get other fish as well as the in basically you just increase the bite rate by having two baits you increase the bite rate but you can still get your clapellos that are primarily you're looking for um, hopefully like that you'll be able to come here and get your get your clapellos um, like I say it's in a A3 um, and it is under 80 centimeters depth. Again, you can probably go 85, probably go 75, somewhere around there. But I prefer just 80, 20, 20 to 30 percent cast. <coughs> so it's between the line of my rod here and then the line of my rod here, somewhere in this. Um, be ample to be able to get the um. Get the clapellos that you um so yeah <coughs> as always if you if you do get a trophy or anything worth catching comment comment in the description below um let me know as it was and stuff like that and hopefully you'll catch one and like and subscribe that's brilliant if you don't like the video or you fan try not to dislike the video just put in the comment section below how it could be better rather than dislike. I've had a few people dislike the videos. Um, I don't know if that's because they've come to spots and fire or they haven't caught as many as they thought they would. If that's the case, just put in the comment section below that it's not as active for you or something like that. Don't dislike the video because it doesn't help. Just If you can like the video and subscribe, that's better um, and appreciated. So, as always, we'll do a lucky dig. See, gold bait. Um, bait. Uh, we just red worm and um, so red worms we can use here so it's not so thanks for watching the video um and see you on the next one take care guys <laughs>